Good evening, I'm Simon Boxall in for Donna Bush with your CIG television news brief on this Wednesday. Thanks for being here. The first meeting of the 2023-2024 parliamentary session will begin next Tuesday, September the 19th at the House of Parliament. Legislators are expected to deliberate over four bills, including the Public Lands Amendment and Validation Bill from the Ministry of District Administration and Lands, the Plant Protection Bill 2023 from the Ministry of Planning, Agriculture, Housing and Infrastructure, the Terminal Charges Validation Bill 2023 from the Ministry of Tourism and Ports, and the Proceeds of Crime Amendment Bill 2023 from the Portfolio of Legal Affairs. You can read, read each bill on the official legislative website, which is gazettes.gov.ky. Also, you can tune in to our live broadcast of the parliamentary proceedings here on your CIG TV cable news channel or on our YouTube channel, which is Cayman Islands Government. The East End Public Library is making an open call for volunteer reading coaches to join its new reading program to support the literacy of students within the district. The program is running in two parts, September 19th through to the 1st of December for the full school term, and also from the 9th of January through to March 31st, 2024, for the spring term. Volunteers are needed on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 5.30 p.m., and also on Friday from 4.30 to 5.40 p.m. And they can choose whether or not they're also available to assist on Saturdays. To learn more or to sign up as a volunteer reading coach, please contact the East End Public Library at 947 7729, or you can email them. As the busy 2023 Atlantic hurricane season continues, the Cayman Islands government is encouraging the public to evaluate their hurricane preparedness plans, stay informed, and seek, inf uh, seek information from official sources. Director of Hazard Management Cayman Islands, Danielle Coleman, gave this advice to the public. We ask that individuals prioritise um, stocking and replenishing of hurricane essentials uh, from now and obviously for the rest of the season. A concise list of essential items can be found on www.camepared.ky slash hurricanes. We would also like to remind everyone across the islands uh, to monitor official sources such as hazard management, um, the Cayman Islands National Weather Service and the government website for important information regarding storms. Residents are asked to ensure that their hurricane plans involve checking on older relatives and older persons in the community. HMCI, in partnership with the Cayman Islands Department of Children and Family Services, hosted a series of trainings earlier this year for caregivers, advising them on how to prepare for the potential needs of the elderly in their care during and after a storm. For more information on hurricanes and general preparedness, disaster preparedness tips, you can visit caymanprepared.ky. And now for tonight's local weather forecast. Light to moderate northeast winds and slight seas will continue across the Cayman area for the next 24 hours as Hurricane Lee moves north towards Bermuda. Radar images show isolated showers in the Cayman area. Tonight's forecast calls for partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers. Temperatures will fall to the low 80s and winds will be northeast at 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be slight with wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. As always, you can get the la latest on local weather conditions on the Cayman Islands National Weather Service's website and Facebook page. And that's it for tonight's broadcast. Again, I'm Simon Boxall. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your night, everyone. Seek the latest accurate information on COVID-19 only from official sources at gov.ky forward slash coronavirus.